Hello, and welcome to a B's and T's Extra. I'm your host, Sebastian. Selena is over there staring at me. And uh, I do want to apologize. It has been a very crazy week, and I have fallen way behind on my advent. So, what I'm going to do is I've got today's tea brewing. Uh, let me make sure so everything's good over there. Yep, everything's good over there. Um, and so what I'm going to do is just go over the teas that I've missed. I guess in the cheeses as well. Um, although the cheeses have been ex have been doubles. But, oh, going to come visit? Come on. Come on, sweetie. Come on. There we go. There's a little bit of Selena. Uh, but anyway, so I'm going to go over the ones I've missed and just start over from today. And that way I'm not going to fall further and further behind. Is that good, Selena? Oh, I'm sorry. I... I put that um, keyboard in the way. How dare I? She can't sit where she wants to sit. There. Don't. I saw that warning look. And fur. All right. Anyways. So, um, we will leave the cat alone. And so, again, like I said, I, I do apologize for that. But um, let me go ahead and just um, uh, get caught up here. So, first I'm going to go ahead and do... The Ilster Cheeses, um, that is a uh, box from, not from, yeah, from Lidl, that's right, from Lidl, uh, a German grocery store that does also have um, stores here in the U.S. So, uh, let's see, where was the last day? So, it looks like 12th was the last day. All right, so I'm four days behind. Hmm. All right, so... The 12th is, uh-oh, is this the Pepper Jack? It is. It is the cheddar cheese. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. This is a cheddar cheese with apple, sage, and onion. Okay. I'm not sure that I've had this one before, so I'm actually going to taste this one. I wasn't planning on tasting my previous ones, but... Hmm, this is an interesting smell. I don't honestly remember tasting this one. Mmm. That's good. Um, you kind of get a little bit of apple at first, and then you get the sage and onion. Um, the sage and onion kind of linger. It's firmer. Mm hmm. Okay, that's actually really good. Okay, yeah, well. Um, huh. There you go. A little, um, little bonus tasting there. So that was the 12th. The thirteenth. As long as it's not an ex as long as it's not something new, then I will um not bother with tasting it though. Ah, this is the good old cheddar, good old white cheddar. So I know I've had this one before. Alright, so that was the thirteenth. Yes. The fourteenth over here. Whoops. Ah, there we go. Oh, there we go, it fell over a little bit. Yeah. That is the Applewood. Okay, this is the smoked one. Applewood, smooth and creamy, uh, smoke, smoke something cheddar cheese. I can't. It's hard to read, but anyway, it's the smoked cheddar, smoked white cheddar, which is also really good. That's the fourteenth, the fifteenth. So this is yesterday's. Well, it's another. It's an orange, not a white. Ugh, and it's stuck. There we go. Thank you. Ah. So this is the Red Leicester. I think that's one I had a couple of, a couple of videos ago. I had the Red Leicester. So that was one of the last ones I tasted. Which obviously is really good. And finally we will get to today's. Which is another orange. It is stuck. It is, ah, the Double Gloucester. Okay. So this is also one that I've tasted. But since it is today's, I'll go ahead and give it a bite. Will you... Oh, you are over here to the side. Oh, you can't see her. She's just a little black bulb over here. And a little black bulb. You want to sniff the cheese? Let me think. Yeah. She gave it a sniff at least. Alright. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's good. Nice and firm. Um. Um. Tiny bit of sharpness to it. But not too much. Um, but it's still, it's not cheddar. 
You can tell it's definitely different than cheddar. So, there you go. How do you get a mouse to smile? Say cheese. Ha ha ha. That's the joke for today's uh, cheese thing. All right. So let me go ahead and go through the teas. Um, I will definitely be drinking these teas. I don't know when, and I don't know if it's going to be on video or not. Probably not. Um, but, um, okay, so 11 is done. All right, cool. So we're on 12 then. All right, cool. Uh, but sometime I will be making these up and, and um, drinking them. So number 12 is plant a tree. Oh, this is a green tea. Uh, this is Jade Mountain. So, let's see. What does Jade Mountain have to say? Explore Jade Mountain and discover a utopia of cocoa, uh, cocoa, brittle pieces, and green tea. The ascent may be steep, but the hint of chocolate and sweet hazelnut praline is totally worth it. So, Jen Macha green tea, uh, toasted rice, brittle pieces, uh, which is hazelnut and sugar, essentially. Cocoa husks, blackberry leaves, almonds, carob, um, roasted chicory root, and then flavorings. Hmm, interesting. That should be uh, chocolate green tea, so that should be very interesting. Isn't it nice to think that tomorrow will bring more tea? Yeah, that's true, because that's only the 12th. So, the 13th is start a new hobby. All right. And this is a, looks like it's a, a fruit, uh, fruit to sane, so I'm not sure what that is. Southern Sunrise. Okay, I'm not sure what this is. This might be an herbal. Um, yeah, it looks like it's an herbal. Uh, white hibiscus, lemongrass, and grapefruit bring this fruity brew to life. Inspired by an Australian summer, this sunny to sane, I'm not sure what to sane means. Uh, will brighten the morning with this tantalizing aroma. Are you leaving me? Aw. Apparently she's getting tired of listening to tea. Alright. Alright, sweetie. And it has apple, apple pomace, I'm not sure what that is, um, citric acid, black, sweet blackberry leaves, uh, natural and artificial grapefruit, and lemon. Uh, lemongrass, white hibiscus, and grapefruit peel. Um... I may or may not be able to try this. I believe that I have a uh, medicine that I'm not really supposed to have grapefruit. So, I may or may not be able to drink this one. I'll have to kind of see. I'll have to ask somebody. Alright, so, uh, number 14, have a laugh. Alright, okay. wherever life brings you, bring tea. Yeah, that works. I apologize for if you heard my um, computer... So it is Go Go Goa. Okay. This is, is this a black? Yeah, it's a black too. Climb aboard a rickshaw and hit the buzzing streets of Goa. This playful blend boasts a biscuity sweetness that will keep you on the go go. Haha. <laughs> black tea, cinnamon, cardamom, ginger, orange peel, pink pepper, national art artificial flavoring. It sounds close to a chai, sort of. So. A chai is sort of what I'll, I'll assume that this might be. So, that was, was that 14? I believe that was 14. Yeah, it was 14. All right. So, 15. This is yesterday. Speak up. Oh, that's another black tea. Drink tea to the fullest. Ooh, French Old Grey. Now, that's an Old Grey with, with um, vanilla, I believe, isn't it? Old Grey gets a French twist. Which is oh so fruity. Okay, never mind. A medium body black tea base with a with pretty petals and notes of fruit that play with classic bergamot in an inspiring, bold, and refined infusion. Black tea, hibiscus, uh, bergamot, rose petals, sunflower petals, uh, flavoring, and mallow flowers. Okay. I think I may have had this one before. Um, it's, it is good. Um, I believe this is one that I, I did enjoy. So, um, yeah, I will definitely enjoy that one. And now today's, what was the, I know what it is, I just, uh, which one? Oh, there it is. Ride a bike instead. That's what it says. So let me close this back up. And the one that I have today 
was, uh, where did I put the thingy? Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, Gorgeous Geisha. So it is a green tea today. So this is um, smooth, sweet, and so creamy. Sencha green tea combined with the luscious flavors of strawberry and cream is delicious hot or ice as a summer treat. This geisha has got a hold on us. So it's green tea, uh, natural artificial flavorings, strawberry, yogurt, cream, and freeze-dried strawberries. So I am very interested in this one. I've never had a... I've had a strawberry black tea. I've never had a strawberry green tea. I've never had a strawberry and cream green tea. So... Uh, this I'm actually very, very interested in. I think I'm going to like it. All right. Not, uh, you get a, you get a little smell of strawberry. It's not a strong smell. Let's see. Hmm. Mm, okay, hold on. It's subtle. I, I actually wish that the strawberry flavor was a little stronger, to be honest with you. very good though all right okay i'll definitely drink that uh yeah it's actually pretty subtle um you can taste the strawberry but it's not super strong in there so you know that is what it is um all right well i guess that's about it i know this one ran a little longer um just because i wanted to get you guys cut up and again i am very sorry about that um I should have a, another video going later today, and I'll kind of explain why this week was so crazy. Um, all right, so I guess until hopefully tomorrow, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.